Alright, in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to take your LG G-Pad 8.3 inch and do a factory reset. So it's going to do it two different ways. Wow, notifications go off everywhere in my house. Um, we're going to show it two different ways. So one way is going to be to go into settings. And you should be able to come in here under, let's see where is it at, backup and reset. And factory reset right here erase all data on tablet and you can hit that option all right that is the standard way of doing a factory reset on your device um, and getting everything back to stock just like you got it from the get-go I gotta turn the volume off this is driving me nuts and um, you'll be able to get to that point so very very cool but what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to manually get into recovery in case you're in a boot loop or you're in something like that and we can show you how to do a factory reset that way so to do it what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down your power button and power off your device turn it off there we go we gotta wait for this thing to power down um, and then the next thing is very tricky it's like a funky combination so let me show you uh, hopefully I can show you how to do this very easily so let's uh, let's get where you can see this here okay so here's gonna be the trick on this what you guys are gonna have to do is, is a special special button combination so your device is powered off at this point um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to hold the power or volume down I should say then you're gonna hold power until you see the logo on the screen right there and you're gonna let go of power see the logo and then you're gonna hold volume and volume and power again while you keep holding the um, volume down button and if I did it correctly and there you go a little bit tricky but that is basically how you do it okay so there it is it just talks about what you want to do if you want to do a factor reset um, so it says press power key to confirm or any other key to cancel so we're gonna hit power and again here it talks about again hit power to confirm or any other key to cancel so if you do the final confirm here it's going to do a factory reset and wipe your data your whole device back to stock um, like i said if you had a boot loop you might want to come in here wipe the factory do a factory reset and it might get the device booting again um, again the button combinations i will put in the video description just so you can get them but basically you hold volume down then you hit power as soon as you see the logo let go of power keep your finger on volume down go to um, as soon as you let go put your finger back on power volume up and volume down all three and keep holding them until you get to your screen a little it is a little tricky it may take you a couple of tries but it's not too bad so then we're gonna do that last confirm with power and finish doing our factor reset here there you go you can see the little Android guy little little bar along the bottom and as soon as it's done doing the factory reset, the device will reboot and you'll be back to your initial like login screens. So let's just let this thing run. Quick note while this thing is running is uh, this is going to be the exact same process to get into a custom recovery. So when we go ahead and I show you how to get like Torp recovery or Clockwork Mod recovery on this device, it's going to be the same exact process if you need to get into recovery from a powered off state or a boot loop or a bad flash or whatever. Same button combination to get into recovery. So it's just going to be a good thing to know. This way, it just does a factor reset because you're on stock recovery. But when you finally get um, true custom recovery, you'll you'll do that, and instead of wiping data, it'll just go into the recovery menu, and you'll be able to do your flash, your ROMs, and all that kind of good stuff. So obviously, stay tuned if you want to know how to do that. Um, watch my other videos in my playlist on this device once I get them rolling out here. This is kind of the beginning one because it's very important to understand the basic stuff before you get into the heavy stuff. Okay, there it is, guys. That is your uh, startup screen, standard uh, setup. So go ahead and run through your setup. You know, connect to your Wi-Fi, put in your Google account and all that good stuff, and you'll have a completely reset tablet. Or leave it like this and turn it off, and whoever um, gets it, you know, put it like that. Maybe you want to sell it. You know, whoever gets it, it's, it's completely wiped. All your information has gone off. All your applications are off it. It's just strictly stock like you got out of the box. 
So very simple. Um, now, if you're on a custom ROM, don't think this is going to restore stock system. It's not. It just wipes data off of whatever ROM you're on. Or if you're in stock or if you're in this, you know, if you're running exactly new, you, it just wipes all your data off. That's all that does. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it, guys. That's, that's my little video here for the LG G-Pad 8.3 how to manually factory set your device. Hope this was informative for you. Hope it was in, uh, got good information in it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device, and we'll catch you next time. Root Junkie out.